Welcome back to our channel. We are Lindsay and Tyler, and one thing you might not know about us is that we are avid fans of HGTV's hometown, so much so that we made a pit stop on our road trip to check out Laurel, Mississippi, and you guys have to watch this video until the end because we end up getting invited to an exclusive party where we even get to meet some of the cast members. I still can't believe this all happened on a random Tuesday. And she's gone. She's in her happy place. Welcome back to our channel. We are Florida Flipsers and right now we are on our way to Laurel, Mississippi, home of Ben and Aaron Napier, stars of the hit HGTV show, Hometown and Hometown Takeover. We're mega fans, so we're gonna spend a few days visiting the small town, only like a population of 17,000, so we're on our way there. I am very excited to check out their shops. I'm gonna take you along with us and show you the whole town because we are gonna be here for two full days and it is a very small town, so I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to check out everything. Can Welcome. I come in? Yes, come on in. Say hi, Zona. Say hi. Welcome to our home in Laurel, our Airbnb that is ours for the next two days. It is so cute. Let me show you. So here is the living room area. It has gorgeous hardwood floors. We keep going this way. And here is the kitchen. I don't even know how much we're gonna be using it because we're only here for two days, but we're cute, I'm jealous of it. We do have an additional bedroom. We've been saying that our dream is to meet Ben and Aaron, so maybe they'll just be our best friends and just come over and we can host them. Sounds good. No. Not um, far-fetched at all. No, exactly. And moving on to our bedroom. This one is super cute and I did not realize they had a king size bed. We do not have one at home, so I am very excited about that. Come on, let's show them the outside. All right, look at how cute this porch is. So that is the full tour. We are now excited to go unpack our bags because we have been on the road for quite some time. It looks like the perfect landing spot to explore Laurel. Looking for the hometown houses. We've definitely already seen a couple. Oh, all of them are so cute. After driving around town, spotting as many houses we can find that were flipped on the show, we ended up going to the downtown area. It was kind of late, so most of the shops were not open, but that was okay because this gave us a good opportunity to check out all of the beautiful murals. They really do have some of the prettiest murals. There's one on every street. So we, of course, had to do all of the very touristy photo ops. If you know us, then you know that we cannot pass up the opportunity to dig through the trash. And when we saw this pile, Tyler literally went running to it. There was a bunch of furniture and then he found the score of this whole trip, a vintage painting. And when he flipped it around, it even had its original price tag of $75. It's always so crazy to us that people throw all of these pieces away and this just showed us that it's not just a Florida thing. Even here in Mississippi, we're able to find some treasures. Finding these pieces really made us fall even more in love with this town and I am so excited to hang up this art when we get home to remember our trip to Laurel. Are you sleeping in the suitcase? Oh my god. You're the cutest baby.
The next morning, we woke up nice and early and decided to try out Lee's coffee and tea to grab a bite to eat and of course to get some coffee. We are so excited because all of these shops are open today, so we are going to take you along with us. We have fuel for today. We're like 20 shops, so I'm excited. If we weren't so last minute with planning this trip, we 100% would have taken one of those golf cart tours around downtown. We saw a bunch of groups taking them and we were a little jealous. All right, we're here. Oh my God, I see it. There's Laurel Mercantile. And she's gone, she's in her happy place. So cute. Ready to buy it. All right, yeah. This is where we go crazy. This is what we came for. If you are a fan of the show, then you are going to be in love with this shop. It truly felt like it was fulfilling a need I didn't even know I had. They had so many pieces of art featured on the show, like some of Aaron's original art prints, along with other local artists that they showcased their work. One of the coolest pieces they had, in my opinion, were these earrings. They had an entire collection made from copper that was from a roof of a local home, so you better believe I made sure to pick up a pair. Of course, they had to sell Erin's signature headbands that she is always wearing, and I picked out my favorite. I love it. You look just like her. Alright, you got the full ensemble now. Got my shirt. Overalls and everything. And I'm gonna get this shirt. I'm getting it all. <laughs> Let's go. You ready? For this is your side of it. Very much, yeah. You already spent yours, but this is where I spend mine. <laughs> oh my gosh! As soon as you walked into the Scotsman, you could tell that it has been written all over it. It was just a lot more masculine and there were, of course, all of the cutting boards you could ever need. And if you really want to fit in, they even sold all of the different flannels that he wears on the show. By far, one of the coolest things was getting to see the actual workshop that they do all of their custom woodworking projects on the show. They were even working on a couple things while we were there. They're fancy oh. over there. Yeah, they're what is, okay. Be collecting all the bags. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of the shop? It was awesome. Yeah, I came away with a t-shirt. I'm, so, I'm eager to go throw this one on here in just a second. That's where they film and do everything. They said apparently Ben was there last night with a production meeting, so we just missed him, but that means they're in town. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed there's still a chance that we get a, a glimpse of the famous Napiers. Ready to look at all of the shops. So there are a lot more shops than just that. So Let's get back to it. Next up on our list was to check out the Scent Library. This is their newest edition. It is actually part of the Laurel Mercantile, and I did not even know this existed, so this was a pleasant surprise. The shop itself feels like a library, a very historic one at that. And my favorite part was the fact that every single candle had its own backstory behind it. It was just a really fun experience and I have a really big love for candles. Fun fact, my first business was owning a candle company, so I was very impressed with this place. It ended up being maybe my favorite stop of the three different stores. Oh, 
you too. Next, we made our way to a shop called Handmade, and this one is known for having a little DIY station set up where you can either work on art projects there in the store, or you can buy a package and work on it when you get home. Just look at how cute these projects turned out, and the best part is their paint by number. Okay, one of the people from the show. Local celebrity. <laughs> Don't put the window down though, it's crazy. He's like looking at, oh, oh. Name Josh. Yeah. That's one of the people. Isn't it? Definitely, what's he looking at? All right, we are about to try the famous bird dog cafe. It looks super cute. So we're gonna go ahead and get some lunch and maybe grab a beer. This place was featured on the show. They helped a local chef actually buy this home and convert it into a restaurant. So we were excited to check it out in person. We were a little bit bummed to find out that they no longer really serve food there. However, it is a great place to relax, have a cup of coffee or tea, and they have a bunch of art on the walls that are actually for sale. And here is their epic window wall that they created on the show as well. Even though they didn't have food, we couldn't pass up getting a beer and sitting in their back patio. We got the place to ourselves. Oh, there's a couple cats. We got one cat, two cats. You want a beer? <laughs> she looks like she wants a beer with us. Tell us about your day. I still can't believe we had the entire place to ourselves, but this was such a needed break after shopping all morning. At this point of the day, we were both so hungry, so we headed on over to the Blue Crab Grill for lunch, and we decided to split a blackened chicken pasta, and it was incredible. Peeling back the layers of the part I've been playing for you. Be so easy. Now I get queasy when things start going wrong. We could not leave downtown with, of course, checking out the infamous lot furniture company. If you know, this family has been a big part of the Laurel history and this shop has been here since the early 1900s. I was blown away the second I walked in and immediately just started looking at all of their home goods. In my opinion, this might be my favorite shop in all of downtown Laurel. It just had a very good variety of items and gifts you could give to your friends and family. If you make a trip here, be sure to head to the back where they had a welcome visitors area. We of course had to sign their guest book. We have big news. We have been informally invited to a big local celebration that has a high chance of having Ben and Aaron Napier in attendance. A close friend of theirs holds an annual celebration and the server at Bird Dog Cafe was kind enough to tell us about it and so we are very excited. On top of it being a success party for the HGTV show, mm -hmm. it is also going to be having a ton of live music including, or you know the band better. Paul Thorne is the headliner which my dad will be very proud. I have listened to this guy a lot and recognize him. Um, but it's a, a couple of blues legends. We're gonna try and get as much footage as we can. Stay tuned and see how this unexpected night turns out. This in our front windshield. Perfect, thank you. Yes, sir. All right, we're getting valet treatment. <laughs> Ticket and all, 415. Everyone is literally here in this entire town. Yeah, it is extremely busy, it does feel like like every single person in town is at this party. Hopefully that includes the cast. 
Arriving to this party, we had no idea what to expect, especially after being greeted by a woman on stilts, but as soon as we walked inside, it felt a little less intimidating because there were so many people here that maybe we wouldn't stand out like a sore thumb. We found out that this home is owned by Danny Raspberry and it was his party that was being thrown. He is Jim's dad, if you know Jim and Mallory from the show, and if that wasn't already cool enough, this home was even featured in season 5. It is the Raspberry Home episode where you can watch the total renovation. This party was next level. We walked over to the bar area and quickly found out that all of the alcohol was on the house. After grabbing a beer, we went back down in the yard because we saw that they had an area set up to meet David, the tile guy from the show. David? 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 Howdy. My husband, Tyler. Tyler. Nice to meet you. Well, well, you nice to Tyler. Tyler. Uh, yeah, would love This party just kept getting busier and busier, so we had high hopes that maybe we would run into another cast member. And sure enough, when we were in line at the bar, the man behind us was none other than Jim Raspberry. So I, of course, had to be awkward and ask for a photo with him. I'm having a hard time finding the right words to describe what this party was like because it was like a great Gatsby party. I mean, honestly, every room we went into, there was something going on like this magician doing card tricks in the kitchen. And then you step outside and see a woman dancing and throwing fire and even eating it. Mind you, there was supposed to be a concert happening, but the rain ended up canceling it. But good thing we stuck around because... We're going to have Paul Thorne in the room. We're going to have Jeff Bates in the room. And so you're going to get the most intimate uh, <laughs> concert of your life. So for those who stay, have hit the jackpot. The man you just heard make that announcement is none other than the homeowner, Danny Raspberry, and the host of this crazy party. We were so incredibly happy we stuck around because after this moment, all of the artists came inside the house and started doing acoustic shows in each of the rooms. The fact that we were here on the most random Tuesday where an annual party was being held still blows my mind. This is hands down one of the most special nights of our entire life and I get emotional just thinking about this night because it truly was an experience that not many people get to have. Tyler was in actual heaven getting to see Paul Thorne like six feet in front of him and we even got to do a little meet and greet afterwards. That was one of the best nights of our life. <laughs> We're leaving, we just met everyone, had an intimate concert, and yep, best night ever. Going to get our car from the valet. And that wraps up our two days in Laurel. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this was definitely one of our favorite stops to date. I cannot recommend stopping in this small town enough.